So I'm basically making this video to warn everybody about any and every antipsychotic medicine there is, whether it's a pill or a shot, or maybe a patch if they, if they make a patch for antipsychotics. But um, if you don't have to be on one, don't ever, don't ever be on one. I was on paliperidone and uh, for six or seven months, and it was the worst experience of my life. I would rather go back to being homeless over in Austin, Texas than be on a, an antipsychotic. Um, you will have mania and hypomania come back because you hate the way that you feel. So it's going to make you angry. And that's what my mania, my hypomania and my mania does. Is it, make, it makes me angry and uh, it makes me feel violent. Uh, now, it doesn't always make me violent, but it makes me feel like being violent. And uh, so it doesn't make me excited or, or energetic or happy like it does for most people with bipolar. Um, my mania and my hypomania is anger and rage. And then when it turns into hypomania, sometimes I do stuff that gets me in you know, legal trouble. But the trade-off for whatever the antipsychotic is preventing, the trade-off isn't worth it. Um, you'll have nothing but severe boredom, and you'll do everything you can to defeat that severe boredom. Um, you'll feel severe stress, anxiety, uh, depression will get worse, your ADHD will get worse, your bipolar will, will in some aspects, gets worse, your general depression gets worse, your sleep problems get worse. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not worth it. So if anybody ever says Palperidone or Invega or Abilify, well, Abilify is not, it's a, it's a dopamine stabilizer. It's not really a, they call it antipsychotic. Um, it has antipsychotic features, but it's more of a, a dopamine stabilizer. Um, which is what I'm about to go on. So I'll be trying that um, along with the, the coca leaf and the kana uh, and the wellbutrin. I've never had coca leaf, kana, and wellbutrin uh, off of an antipsychotic. And, uh, and I've never had uh, dopamucana or mucana or L-theanine off of um, an antipsychotic. And you're gonna you're gonna find yourself wanting all these drugs that you either used to do and you, you know, it was a long time ago, or drugs you never had a desire to do until you got on an antipsychotic. Um, I never had a desire to get back into crystal meth until I got on an antipsychotic. Never had a desire to try PCP or crack cocaine until I got on an antipsychotic. Uh, I like drugs, but I like to be in control of the the drugs that uh, I choose to do or want to choose to do. Uh, I don't like a, a medicine uh, controlling my brain like that that doesn't make you feel good. I'll let a medicine control my brain that makes me feel good um, because eventually it'll it'll end. But with an antipsychotic, it's like it, it's like it never ends. It's all day, every day. And you do what I've done and you've used CoQ10 and St. John's wort to rever and vitamin uh, D to reverse the effects of the antipsychotic, and uh, and it it's helping. And uh, that alpha lipoic acid and ALA um, it gets rid of receptor blockade. It reverses it, and especially NMDA, which is um, uh, adrenaline and noradrenaline, or epinephrine and norepinephrine um from what I understand epinephrine uh, no uh, noradrenaline gets you ready for adrenaline and it regulates adrenaline and um so your fight or flight response is going to be uh, modified under an antipsychotic it's either going to be you're either going to overreact to something or you're going to underreact to something it's not gonna. It's not gonna be a normal reaction. Um, 
If you do not have severe schizophrenia, don't go on antipsychotic. Uh, tell the doctor, uh, hell no, on that. Just tell them, tell them that straight up, hell no, I'm not going on antipsychotic. And once I get out of this veterans court thing, um, where they're gonna, they want me on a shot. Um, you know, dopamine, high levels of dopamine is not my problem because I have very low levels of neurotransmitters and receptors and, and the nerve cells that the receptors are on and, and, um, all that. Um, and so it can't be high dopamine. That's my problem. Whenever I have high levels of dopamine from, from a, a drug, I deal with it very well. Um, it's whenever I have normal levels of dopamine that I don't deal with it well, but it's not the, really the dopamine that was my issue. It's just my personality. Um, the army, the, the law, uh, the kids and adults in my past, uh, the man who did what he did to me. I'm not going to say what it was. All that created my personality. And you can't change your personality. So is it really your neurotransmitters and your receptors that are the problem? Or is it your personality that you got stuck with permanently? Or the multiple personalities that you got stuck with permanently? Um, I'm going with the personality. Um, it's not the neurotransmitters or the, the, the neurons and the, the endorphins. Same thing. Catecholamines, so all the same thing. Um, dopamine is only an issue. Um, uh, it only makes you psychotic if you've got um, schizophrenia or schizoaffective. Um, it really doesn't make you psychotic with anything else. Um, that's really personality. Uh, disorders and I know I've got them I know I've got some some personality disorder um so don't ever go on antipsychotic that's the bottom line what I'm saying here is don't ever go on one tell everybody you know not to ever go on one um anybody who who backs up a, a, an antipsychotic and defends one should be forced to go on one themselves that should be the, the rule um, the law, that's to be the law. Oh, um, look, I like feeling good. Um, I can't live life without dopamine or serotonin or norepinephrine or epinephrine or GABA. I, I can't live life without that. And I, I refuse to. So, and you should refuse that too. And, um, anybody who ever invented an antipsychotic should be also forced their whole life to be on one and see how much they like it. And I don't think they like it very much. So antipsychotics suck. I ordered a t-shirt that I custom made saying all antipsychotics suck. It's got a big exclamation mark at the end. And uh, I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. And I'm going to wear that thing around everywhere I go. And uh, I'm going to enjoy wearing it everywhere I go. Um, I'm going to let everybody see it. Um, even the people who said I need to be on a shot. And uh, so they just said I need to be on a shot, but they didn't say what type of shot. So, and my plan was actually this. Um, if they were going to force me to stay on paliperidone, I already had a bunch of cash taken out and uh, started opening up bank accounts in, uh, in Russia. And I was... Uh, one thing I was doing was, was praying a lot saying, you know, God, you know, tomorrow I find out if I'm going to be a, a citizen of another country or stay an American citizen because uh, I put my foot down and said I wasn't, I'm not staying on a or uh, or an antipsychotic. And luckily I found a bilify, which isn't really an antipsychotic. It sort of is and it sort of isn't. And, uh, but I was ready to, to flee the country and, um, it wasn't going to be here in Shreveport at the Shreveport um, airport because they would have been looking for me there. Um, it would have been another airport. I'm not going to say which one. Um, but yeah. And so that was my plan. And um, and I was ready for it. 
and I, you know, I wouldn't mind living in Russia because when I think of Russia, I think of, of uh, loads of excitement and craziness. Um, I I like that. Something about that is attractive to me. Um, it's very stimulating, very euphoric. Um, and I think that's why I like it. Um, the idea of, of it. But if I didn't have to live in Russia, I would also be okay. So, um, you know, it used to be when I was dipping snuff, I knew that I didn't want to live in any other country because America is about the only country that has snuff. Um, Sweden has snooze, but, and I haven't had a dip of snuff in six or seven weeks. And so now I'd be able to, if I wanted tobacco, just go cigarettes. Um, so if I had to flee America, I could do it now because I'm, I'm no longer dipping snuff, which is just an American thing. So anyways, thanks for watching.